All right, what's going on everybody? Monty Weaver here. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a behind the scenes tour of my studio. I am shooting this on my iPhone, so hopefully I'm gonna be in frame every time you see me on this side of the camera because when I go in record mode, it won't let me flip the camera around for some reason. So hopefully I'll be in frame. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and let you know what I got going on here and kind of the reasons behind what I have going on here as well. So this is a dedicated office space where I do record a lot of my content videos and I spend a lot of hours and time in here just doing work. So it has a multifaceted reason for why it's set up the way it is. So let's come over here and check out the first kind of set and what's going on over here. So over here we have my dedicated YouTube area where I'm gonna be shooting a lot more YouTube videos. You can see I have a tripod here. Um, I have my nice desk lamp over here. I don't remember what kind of desk lamp this is, uh, but it's pretty cool because it can charge my phone up by just laying it on there. Um, and the tripod, nice, I think this is a 60 inch tripod that I take a lot to different speaking engagements and when I go out um, off of Amazon, really affordable. And over here in the back, we have my iMac now. Don't tell anyone, but this one doesn't even work anymore. It's just more for show on video, but it does the job. Um, and I have my little YouTube pillow over here. And then I have my latest cool toy. This is the Ozbot uh, tail. And this actually goes around and follows you um, automatically. It has nice AI tracking built into it. So I'm actually gonna start taking that when I do more uh, in-person live training events and I don't have a camera person with me. I can actually just take that, set it up on my tripod and it follows me around. Uh, over here is my wall construction project. Uh, I started to construct this wall with some stick on background paneling. I actually ran out of paneling, so I'm gonna order another set of paneling to replace it. And so actually, as I zoom out here, that entire two sets of walls will actually have the paneling on it and will be like a nice background for my videos. Now, I'm gonna set my tripod down and I got a little secret hidden in the corner back here. And this is actually a green screen that I have back here. This is a pull-up green screen. And I'm gonna take this out. This thing just literally just pulls up. So let me come back over here behind the camera so you can see it. So it actually pulls up and it's about six feet high. And I think it's four feet across and it pulls down into this little uh, uh, contraption down here. So this is pretty cool for on the go. And when I use, to use it to take just good pictures for my YouTube channel um, and just pictures in general, it's a nice portable green screen. So. That's kind of what's going on over here in this set. Um, and then as I kind of scroll over here, you see I got my nice little couch loungy area. Um, and this is kind of my second set where we kind of film like interview type of uh, videos. And then I have some of my devices that I use a lot of the stuff that's actually over here too. Um, in the back, back here is an actual USB a lapel microphone so it plugs right into my laptop and I can teach classes with a lapel microphone that's USB. I have a mini soundboard here, uh, microphone as well, nice gold microphone. Uh, down here I have my tripod. Um, I have a couple little devices for my tripod as well for mounting brackets. Uh, as we kind of go down here I've got another set of, these are pretty cool in here. These are my Rode Wireless Go uh, microphone. So it actually has a, one's a transmitter and one's a receiver. Uh, I won't pull out the second one, but it's two and they look almost identical and one of them just clips right on to you. So you, you can actually record wirelessly on like a DSLR camera or inside of your computer. So it's a, a lapel microphone, except there's no batteries. It's just all wireless, which is pretty cool. Um, and then back behind it got a couple different like charging ports and uh, cables needed to make it work. Just trying to get that back in there. All right. Got my uh, Mac keyboard. It's really for show. I don't use it too much. Got a lot of little 
things I keep in these boxes here. That's a little uh, mouse for my Mac. And in here is just a lot of stuff. I got extra cables and windscreen protectors. I've got uh, camera lenses sitting in there too, but that's a lot of that stuff is like more so when I go out in the field and need to take something with me. So that's kind of my set two. Now, as I turn around over here, you see I got the TV going because I got to have some type of entertainment in here. And I keep uh, one of my devices down here. This is my pad caster and this is a teleprompter. So I can write up my YouTube scripts and put it on my phone and then stick this onto the camera. I'm gonna show you in a minute. And I can actually just read directly from my script and I'm still looking right at the camera. So I'm always keeping that eye contact, which is always important. Um, up here is one of my lights, uh, really just a small light I use to shine on my desk. And over in the far right here, you'll see that I have another one of the lights. So this is uh, great because I like turning the lights off and this is the light that actually brightens me up so i'll actually show you what it looks like when it's off here in a second as i kind of zoom out a little bit um you'll see my massive desk it's a 70 inch by 30 inch desk so uh this is probably the best investment i've ever made this desk is a nice standing desk so i could actually program it with four different settings so right now it's kind of in the seated position and now I'll raise it up and you can see it's actually raising up. Now I have poor cable management down there cause it's kind of hard to manage these cables cause I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. But this desk is super, super awesome. So let's kind of go across the desk here, starting off from right to left. Um, another lamp here. So this is lamp that just folds out. It has a whole bunch of different light settings on it. And this lamp also charges my phone as well. So I'm going to tap these different light settings and you can see it change on the screen. And like I said, it charges my phone. I can just lay my phone on there and it charges. And it actually has a little port in the back too, where you can actually plug in something and charge it there. I've got my Logitech speakers, my white Logitech speakers to match the desk. Got two sets of headphones in here. Uh, one's just a regular set of headphones. These are more like studio headphones, like in-ear monitor headphones. So they actually clip and wrap around your ear. So these are pretty cool. Uh, I've got all my remotes, my RGB remotes. I have lights behind my desk and I also have lights in the back. So these control my lights. Uh, this little remote I'll get back to in a second. Uh, this is just a phone charger, so ignore that have my Logitech wireless keyboard and my Logitech wireless mouse. As you can see, that needs to be charged. So I'll charge that after this video. And then over here, I have my studio microphone. This is the Rode NT-USB. I love this thing. And it's attached to the Rode boom arm. So um, I do a lot of my recordings using that microphone. And then as we kind of scroll up to the top here, this is the Logitech Brio. This is a 4K webcam, so that's pretty awesome. I got that when it first came out. I also have a Logitech C930 webcam, and this is the powerhouse right here. This is the Sony A6400 with the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 aperture lens on it. This is what I use to record, go to Facebook Lives, uh, YouTube's all that good stuff here. I love it because it has the monitor up top and it shoots 4K video, so super awesome. And this microphone up here, I just got this. It actually just got released from Rode. It's a nice shotgun microphone so I can take out into the field. And typically these shotgun microphones only work for these DSLR type of camera, mirrorless type of cameras. But this one actually has a USB connection where I can actually plug it into my computer so it actually works as a microphone connected to my computer. So for the same price, I think that was actually more expensive. Matter of fact, more expensive than actual this Rode microphone because it has a dual functionality. So it's a pretty cool microphone for what it can do. And then 
getting back to my little remote here. This remote is actually for my Sony. Uh, this works great because when I record my videos, I can just start and stop my recordings when I mess up and when I trip over words. So I really love having something handy like that around. Now what I'll do is I'll turn on these lights so you can kind of see the difference. I, again, I love shooting my videos in the dark and having the colors behind me. And as I kind of turn on these lights, you'll see these lights are on and I'm gonna turn off this main light here. So you can see it's a much different look in this room and the colors with the RGB lights, they really pop when everything's dark. But when everything's dark, I definitely have to have some light on me. And this is what I use. I use these two lights right over uh, the camera. So you guys got a quick behind the scenes tour of my office setup and office studio. Um, I love all things video and digital. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments and happy streaming, happy video. I hope you guys are going to crush it in 2020 just using the power of video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.